Shocky Gamer here. So today we're looking at a pretty awesome guitar controller. This is the Dream Gear War Beast. It's basically a replica War Beast guitar for the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. And it's compatible with Guitar Hero Rock Band as well as Rock Revolution games. So this is the front of the box. It is a massive size box. Um, it says War Beast on it just there. The original full-size replica the guitar designed for Rock Band, Guitar Hero, and Rock Revolution. And it's got here, latency-free wireless gameplay, works with Guitar Hero, Rock Band, and Rock Revolution music games. Extended strum bar for enhanced gameplay, three-piece guitar for portability, custom tone switch for Rock Band, additional star button, removable faceplate, additional faceplate sold separately, includes high-quality custom guitar strap. And it shows you a cool picture of the actual guitar just there and of course here it says licensed by BC Rich Guitars and down on the side here I don't know if I can even get it it says compatible with Guitar Hero Rock Band and Rock Revolution games and it shows you a bit of a size comparison there to a normal guitar so these are your standard guitars and this is your War Beast so it's considerably larger it's got the Dream Gear logo down there full-size replica guitar. So turning the box onto the back so this is what the back of the box looks like basically shows again another comparison here so it shows you a standard guitar um, an actual basically War Beast guitar a Dream Gear replica which is the one included in this box so you can see it there so they've made it pretty close to the original. So here they show you how it actually connects up. So the three parts join it together. And here it gives you a bit of an overview here. Responsive fret buttons, solo fret buttons, rock band tone switch, extended strum bar for enhanced gameplay, Guitar Hero 4 compatible star power button, removable face plate, rock band Guitar Hero side switch, Complete functionality with start and select buttons, D-pad and PS button. High quality adjust adjustable whammy bar. The distinctive design is a trademark War Beast guitar design, officially licensed from BC Rich Guitars. Guitars. High quality custom guitar strap. So it basically just gives you an overview of the guitar. And of course you get some paperwork with it. So this is some of the paperwork that you get with it. Just some Dream Gear general kind of things, and how you assemble the guitar. So not, not too much that comes with it. And of course you also get your receiver as well. So this is the receiver. It says Dream Gear on the top there. It's got a sync button. Of course this is the PlayStation 2 plug coming out of it. But if I basically swap it over. You can see the USB plug is just there, and that can easily be pulled out to be plugged into your PS3. So that's the receiver, because it is a wireless guitar. And now onto the guitar. Now because this guitar is so big, I'll have to just swap my camera around for a second. Bear with me for a moment. Okay guys, so this guitar is just massive. That's why I'm swapping the camera around, because this is such a big guitar that it's hard to fit into the frame. So here it is. The War Beast. You can see it's just massive. It's a, just a huge guitar. Um, really highly detailed. Really large. That's the front of it. That's the back of it. So, really nice piece. Just by looking at it, it looks absolutely awesome. Alright, so going in for a bit of a closer look. Let's put this on. So this is the top portion. You can see it says BC Rich there. And of course it's got some nice detailing around the edges there on both sides of it. And of course going along, you can see you've got the buttons going down, just here. And if you flip it over, you can see the colours on the top there. 
And of course if you go a bit lower, there's more buttons down here. These are the solo fret guitar buttons. And again, they have colors on the side as well. So you can easily, from where you're actually holding the guitar, you can easily see the colors really nicely. And they're very easy to press all these buttons. They respond quite nicely. A couple of these lower ones up top here, for some reason, if you press them wrong, they tend to stick a little bit. But overall, they're pretty responsive and they work really well. So as long as you hit them in a roughly the center spot, you're fine. I think it's only when you hit the side bits that it gets a bit sticky. But the center, you're fine. Same with these buttons. They don't really have that much because they are smaller buttons. Okay, moving along. Up top here, you've got the Rock Band Tone Switch. Going here, you've of course got your Strum Bar. Whammy Bar. And of course, just here is your star power button. Further down onto this side, you've actually got some more buttons just here. I'll try to get a better look at it. You've got your start and select buttons just here. You've got a D-pad, which is just a really kind of basic D-pad. And of course, you've got a PS button as well. On the bottom of the guitar, just down here, that button there is basically a sync button to sync it to your console. And then you've got a nice easy selector switch there that swaps it between which game you're playing. So if you're playing Guitar Hero games, you have it on the GH mode. If you're playing um, Rock Band, you have it on the RB. And if you're playing Rock Revolution, you can have it on the RR. So it's an easy switch there, so it's compatible with all different types of the guitar games. Now, looking at the back of the guitar... You can see it says War Beast just in the center there. You of course got a battery compartment just there, and that takes four AA batteries so it can connect wirelessly. And this little switch here is basically for changing the face plates on the front. But you need to have basically this bit here, this top bit, pulled off before you can swap a face plate because it won't let you do it otherwise. So, back of it is pretty basic. Now, we've also got a really cool strap that it comes with. It's got like a um, skull and crossbones sort of thing on it. So, it's got a nice kind of pattern all down the strap. Nice strong strap that it comes with. So, you can easily have it on. And it can just sit there really comfortably. And you can play guitar with it. So... Try get it in view again. So really easy to feature, get all the features of it. The whammy, you've got the start button here, and of course you can use these ones as well. So really nice to play, and um, it, it sits on your thing, so you don't your strap holds the guitar nicely. It's a pretty strong strap, nice quality. And uh, yeah, so that is the Warbees guitar. Guitar. Looks really nice as well. Looks really cool. Just look at that thing. It just looks awesome. And it's massive. As you can see, I'm having trouble fitting this into the frame. It's just awesome. So overall, not only is it awesome looking, um, but it basically is a replica Warby, so it is kind of collectible as well if you're a fan of different types of guitars. Um, basically, this is much larger than a normal guitar, so like if you want something a bit different and you're tired of the standard size guitars, then maybe something like this is for you because it is a lot larger and much more impressive looking, and it works well as well. Now these can be hard to find. Um, it depends. Uh, eBay can be, you can either see a lot of them or you might not see them for months and months and months. Um, kind of eBay prices vary. Like if you want um, to get this, if you get it mint in the box, you can usually pick it up for around $80 to $100. If you get it used or well used, it's probably around $30 or $40. Um, it really depends on the condition of it. Um, but it is a pretty awesome guitar. 
And not only would it be good to play with using your guitar games, like Guitar Hero, like Rock Band, like Rock, Rock, Rock Revolution, but it also looks pretty awesome in your game room. You can have this sitting by your TV or sitting on your wall or something. It just looks awesome. So yeah, really cool guitar, works well, responds nicely. It's wireless, works on both PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3, and it works with all the different types of guitar games. So it's sort of a, an all-in-one controller when you think about it, and like I said, it really does look nice. Anyway guys, that's about all I can say about this one. Uh, like I said, pretty awesome guitar, and um, yeah, if you're really into guitar games, then maybe that you should get something like this, something different something really impressive to use while you're playing Guitar Hero or Rock Band. It just might make you feel like you're playing with a bit better than a cheap plastic guitar, which most of guitar controllers are, but this feels like it's a bit better quality. Anyway guys, I am Sharky Gamer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll have heaps more controller and accessory reviews up very shortly. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to, and if you like this video, then hit that like button. It really helps out a lot, guys. Thanks for watching.